Good day to you from everywhere you're watching once again. Uh, today we'll be looking at project management. A project is a defined task that has a starting and an ending date. So project management is using the modern ways of carrying out that task to successful completion with, to achieve the preset target of time, of quality and of uh, cost. Your project wants to make sure, make use of modern techniques to ensure that you finish on time. You want to make sure that you have the expected quality, minimum expected quality, and you don't want to spend much on it. So then there is need to now identify what we call critical path analysis. A critical path analysis is a, is a sequence of series that is done to show tasks that are critical. Critical path is a technique that is used by managers or by management to identify key tasks. It looks at the logical dependencies and independencies of certain tasks, tasks in the project. We know that for, let's say, a project in business wants to uh, build a new factory. That's a project. A business wants to uh, develop a new machinery. That is a project or a business wants to train employees, that is a project. So whatever a project, a project the business wants to engage in, there will be a series of tasks. So those tasks, you use critical path analysis to identify the logical dependencies of different tasks, how they are interrelated, how they are dependent, and the ones that are independent. Hence, it gives us what we call critical activities or critical path. So I will use a textbook, the Cambridge AS and A Level Business Textbook by Peter Stimson. There is a task there that I would like us to I would like to solve on the board. There is a task on page 412. If you have access to that textbook, it's on page 412. Uh, a level textbook, business course book by Peter Stimson and uh, Alastair Fragoas in Cambridge AS and A Level Textbook. So, uh, I'm going to write the question on the board right now. It's a case study, uh, Jamaica Photos Limited. So we have activity, we have, okay, then we have duration. So we have activity. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R. Then, activity A, okay, two in days, duration in days. Two, four, two, D is two, three, eight, three, two, two, three, eight, three, Two, two. Then preceded by pre, preceded. Preceded by means activity that must happen before the next activity happens. So let's say we have a activities A to R. Dependencies or activity that must complete before that particular activity starts is what we call preceded by. So we are told that A is the start of the project. That means it is preceded by nothing. B, C, D cannot start until A is complete. So A must complete for B, C, D to start. Oh, sorry. A must complete. A must complete, A must complete for B, C, D to start. E follows B, C, D. E follows B, C, D. That my name is A is, pre e is preceded by B, C, D. F has no preceding activity. F has nothing, just like A. Okay. F must be completed before I can commence. F must be completed before I can commence. G and H follow E. 
G and H follow E. You get? Then lastly, I follows G and H. Okay, I follows. If you look at the statement number second to the last and last, it talks about I. I follows G and H. And second to the last also said F must be completed before I can commence. So technically, I follows F G H. So if this is the series of activities that we have, I want to prepare a critical part analysis. It's going to show us the key things, the key activities therein. Now, before I start, I would like to explain some things. A node, like a circle, is to explain the beginning of a project. And when we are ending a project, oh sorry, a task, and when we are ending a task, we also denote it with a node. Now, a node is divided into two. This part shows the nth number of the node. If this is the first node, this will be number one. If this is the second node, we will put number two. If it is the third node, we will put number three. Then it is further divided like this. This top part, we use it to record ESTs earliest start times of the activity. The lower part is record, used to record the latest finish times. That's the time, latest time that a task has to finish. Now, for an activity that is going on, we denote it with a line. A line here means an activity is going on. So we show the activity and the duration of it. A node means the beginning of a task. We also use note to show when the task is to end. So let's start the work. A is the start of the project. It's preceded by nothing. Please pause. 